Hey, this is Brian with The Complete Combatant. Uh, we get some comments on our videos and whatnot about training with shoes on the mat. And the tradition that comes from Japan and the Asian cultures is no shoes in the house and also no shoes on the mat. And that's progressed through uh, this, the decades here where we don't train with shoes on the mat. Um, and what we do at The Complete Combatant, it's important that you wear shoes. It's a part of your training. People trip, they fall, uh, they stub their toes, they grip differently, they move differently in shoes. And since our course is primarily for the armed citizen who's going to be wearing shoes, it's a necessary thing to do. And I know for the martial artists out there, there's a little bit of horror in that. Um, but I don't know if shoes are any cleaner than bare feet sometimes when people come in. So what we would do to make sure that they're really clean is we have this mat here and we fill it up with Lysol to the top. And then you can take your shoes and you can rub them back and forth. And we wipe out the outsides of them, make sure they're nice and clean and neat. Then there's some cloths right here that we walk onto. We clean our feet real good there and make sure that the shoes are really safe and clean. So from a cleanliness standpoint, it's probably more sanitary than anything else that touches the mat uh, as we work through it. And we're getting good training value. After class, it's really important to us. Every time we take our time, we mop the mats and we make sure that they're beautifully clean. Uh, we have one of the cleanest gyms around. We clean it every night without fail. All the coaches get together and we clean each night and make sure th everything's spick and span. So I understand, you know, people worry about those sort of things, but we've done everything to make sure that you're safe in our environment and that you can get the best training for the way that you live because none of us run around in the streets barefoot anymore. We wear shoes and that's really important to be a part of your self-defense. Two things shoes are great for. Great for running away and they're great for fighting back. And in Georgia, the foot covered by a shoe is called a shod weapon, and it's very dangerous. So it can hurt people on the ground. So it's got to be a part of our training. And I think if you're not looking into it as a martial artist, you may be missing out just a little bit. It's the one class we do it, uh, and we look forward to bringing that sort of value to our clients so that there's no surprises in their future. Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate your comments, and keep up the good work, and we'll see you on the mat soon.